embattled NAT Secretary General Wilson Socion has finally been suspended from office. Socion was ousted today after the union's National Executive Committee resolved to replace him with his deputy, Hezbon Otieno. The committee says the decision is aimed at saving the union from collapse. Collapse, I should say, after some of its members threatened to decamp to the rival organization, Kupet. NTV's Silas Apollo begins our broadcast. Just hours after the Kenya National Union of Teachers, Secretary General Wilson Socion vowed not to resign from his position. The National Executive Council today resolved to kick him out. Uh, thank you. Socion will now be replaced by his deputy, Hezbon Otieno Ogola, in an acting capacity. Tuliketi, halimashauriku, na tukafikia kauli kwamba, tuwe na mabadiliko flani katika uongozi. Ni kama mchezo wa kandana. Waweza kuwa mchezaji mzuri kama sala na siku nyingine huamki vizuri. The Executive Council says the Registrar of Unions has already endorsed the new officials and that it will now forward the list of the new office bearers to the Teachers Service Commission on Monday. The changes do not affect other officials of the union. Wycliffe Etole Omuchai will continue to serve as the national chairman, while John Matiangi will retain his position as the national treasurer. NAD says the changes are aimed at restoring what they termed as their win reputation and relationship with their employer, the Teacher Service Commission. Kwa hivyo leo hii, tunahakikisha wanachama wetu kwamba tuko katika barabara nzuri, tunataka turudishe nidhamu katika chama, tuwe na uongozi bora. <laughs> The ouster of Socion comes a day after police were forced to use tear gas to disperse a group of rowdy youths who stormed NAT offices to rough up teachers who had gone to vote Socion out. <laughs> Troubles for Socion started soon after he was nominated by the ODM party to parliament, a decision some teachers opposed. They instead asked for his resignation. The Teacher Service Commission had earlier this year deleted his name from the list of teachers after his nomination to Parliament. While teachers blamed him for the collapse of the collective bargain agreement, they signed with TSC on salary increment. Silas Apollo, NTV. And the battle for the plum post of Secretary General of the Kenya National Union of Teachers is now no new feat. Wilson Socion wrestled for the position, fought to stay in office, and has now been muscled out by way of a suspension. Vincent Odur takes us down the journey of the cracking nut in Socion's hands. Nat in 2013, when the post of Secretary General of the Kenya National Union of Teachers fell vacant following the death of Okuta Osiani, Wilson Socion, the union's then chairman, took on Muzo Nzili, who was the acting secretary general, in a tussle for the position. Nat Suba! This birthed a division in NAT, and to avert an explosive clash, the union's advisory council negotiated a deal that saw Socion elected as the secretary general and Nzili as the chairman. The powerful Secretary General role carries with it control and authority over the unions and by extension the resources whose value runs into billions of shillings. In 2017, Socion decided to grant Anzili a mandatory six months terminal leave prior to his retirement in 2018. Nzili objected the move arguing he had not attained the mandatory retirement age of 60 years. After much talk, fight and dispute, Zili bowed out and retired from the union in 2018. He was succeeded by Wycliffe Stole Omuche, who is still in office. After the 2017 elections, the Orange Democratic Party nominated Socion to the National Assembly. This move, which tied the SG to politics, was opposed by some of the union's officials. Vile maremba alifanya wa kupet. Alipo chaguliwa kwenda kwa bunge, yae aliacha kiti kile kama katibu mkuu, and he is now a ceremonial secretary. If Sosioni uwa na ya nakubali hayo, hatunga kuwa na vita na yae. Lakini yae yuko kwenye bunge, na pia anakataria kiti chanat kama katibu mkuu. Whatsoever, I'm not leaving parliament. Yes. Yes. And 
I am not leaving my position of Secretary General as long as I'm working. In July, the Employment and Labor Court allowed TAC to deregister Socion following his entry into politics, arguing that his election as a union official rode on his position as a teacher, but his acceptance of the nomination put him on a partisan political position. He fought on as the assaults on his position raged on. His style and stand saw him remain at loggerheads with successive education cabinet secretaries, with the incumbent, Professor George Magoha, being no exception. And don't take me there. I shall not go there, Mr. Sosion. The wars he has fought have been long drawn and dramatic as well as was witnessed on Thursday when police engaged a group of youth in cat and mouse games for most of the day. The youth had tried to attack teachers who had camped outside NAT offices demanding Socion's resignation. And a day after this drama, the curtains have fallen on Wilson Socion's tenure at the Kenyan National Union of Teachers. Vincent Odur, NTV.